Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This article that I have uh, today, or in this for this video, um, I think they think that we are idiots and we don't uh, understand what's going on. And uh, at least, you know, they try. Uh, give them that. And I will explain uh, in a minute. Let me just read you the title and you will realize what I mean. This article comes from uh, my friends from the Jerusalem Post, from the Jewish State. It was published today, December 6th, 2022. This is the title. United States not preventing Ukraine from developing long-range strike capabilities. Pentagon. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? So you have some... If, if, if tomorrow the Ukrainians are going to blow up uh, Moscow with their own developed missiles and drones, we didn't help them and we didn't, we didn't stop them, we didn't prevent them, okay? So the, that's a different, a, a next step, I think. <laughs> that's so much to say here. Uh, the United States is not stopping Ukraine from developing their own capabilities to carry out long-range strikes. Why should you? I don't think you should. No, because Ukraine is a sovereign, independent country and free with democracy. Uh, U.S. Depart uh, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said on Tuesday, and I'm quoting, we are not working to prevent Ukraine from developing their own capability, Austin told reporters. Well, that's good. That's very good. Now, let's put this in the context because uh, statements sometimes uh, no, have to be put in a certain context in order to realize what exactly this guy is saying. So, first, uh, you know that uh, Monday the Ukrainians were capable of uh, hitting targets 550 kilometers far away from the border with Ukraine inside the Russian territory. 550 and I think it was the other one was four something kilometers. 400 kilometers, 470 or something. So that is about 300 miles and 350 miles distance from the border. But you have to calculate that they were not right at the border, right? Here's the border and they shot it from here. So they shot it from, from inside the Ukrainian territory a few kilometers, 10, 50, so you can add that, 50 kilometers, I don't know. So it's about, I don't know, 350 miles. That's a kind of a medium, medium uh, range, uh, you know, it's not a long range missile strike, but anyway. Now, the Russians said, the Ukrainians said, well, it was not us, we didn't do it, yeah, mm -mm -mm -mm. okay. The, the Russians said, you know what, actually, those uh, Ukrainian used Soviet-made, jet propelled drones supposedly created developed in the 1970s but then modified in the 1990s well jet propelled that means fast and uh, they must be guided somehow right i mean they were quite precise in uh, their hitting the targets you know they hit some two airfields where the russians had atomic uh, long range Bombers, okay, to pell of 95 and to pell of something else. I can't remember the, the other one. I think 55 or something, 51. So anyway, those are big nuclear. It was the bear. That's how it's called, the bear bomber, the long range uh, bomber. And, and the other one was the white swan. Beautiful airplanes. Nevertheless, supposedly they got hit, one damaged and so on. All right. Ukraine has the right to uh, hit the other country, that is its enemy that hits its country. I have no no problem with that. What I'm, I'm, I'm trying to say is that Ukraine had somehow to figure out how to put the coordinates, even though might be able to find the coordinates of those. I don't know what methods they had to send those missiles, those drones, to hit that target so close. That's not the coordinate with someone going over there, getting the coordinates and coming back and sending this, the coordinates. It's not like that. Those, the coordinates were taken from right there. So that means there were spy planes or satellite uh, uh, communication with the exact coordinates. And I don't remember Ukraine having any satellites. And you can say, well, maybe they have had access to other uh, satellites that provided them with uh, the coordinates, the exact coordinates, military coordinates and so on. Okay, 
uh, possible. And then they put that in the system of these uh, drones and based on the, uh, the system they attached to this, they modified the, the drones made in the Soviet Union times. They were able to hit the exact target. All right, that's, that's the nicest uh, explanation and the, the, the neutral explanation, which means absorbs uh, anybody else of any involvement. All right, that means the, the Ukrainians did it with their capability, with their intelligence, with all that. I don't doubt that at all. Why? Because they're Ukrainians. Ukrainians are smart people. Okay, good. Uh, can you, would you ask if there are some other that are dumb people? Yeah, I think so. <gasps> anyway, I'm not gonna name any names. Anyway, so let's go here. So that's what they, and the, the Americans said, you know what? We do not provide the Ukrainians with weapons. We do not provide them with know-how, you know? And if they do it, we're not gonna prevent them from uh, uh, doing whatever they want. I think that's a fair, fair statement. But is it true? I can't, uh, uh, you know, uh, confirm or I can deny the, 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 I don't know, the validity of this statement. They say so, we find out until someone finds out that hey, actually all that was organized and was put together by this or by that or by that. Well, we're not going to find out because whomever comes and tells us that, the other side will say, no, nah, no, nah, that's not true. You can show them, you know, the picture. Hey, that's your husband with your neighbor in bed. <sighs> Honey, that's not me. That's Photoshop. You know, even if you come with that proof, they're going to say, no, nah, not me. Nah, 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 nah. That's not me. And hey, that's not the neighbor. That's me, but that's not the neighbor. So, okay <laughs> anyway so here is the, the the thing with this ukraine can develop those will develop those and it seems like they already have the capability so if they did it with uh, airfields they can do it with uh, civilian population uh, like moscow and say hey it was not us i don't know who that was and they will say what do you want you destroyed our cities and our infrastructure for what for 10 months now 11 months almost or whatever 11 months or so 10 months and what do you expect I, I, it was not us and what are they gonna do the other guys are gonna say no it was you with the help of the americans the other guys say nah nah that, that's not it so um i always go to this including including the the attacks on belarus the Russians are using Belarus territory to attack Ukraine. I think Belarus is right there participant more than are the other guys that are uh, providing intelligence, providing uh, probably tell them what to do and all that. That's direct involvement or arms and support and all the sanctions. That's direct involvement or, already. But using someone's territory to take off, uh, release your missiles or launch them and then come back and land over there safe and you say hey you can't hit me here that's safe space right here i don't think i don't think that's right i think that's bs but you can imagine if the uh if the ukrainians would uh, hit those targets immediately they would say oh my god let, we're going to retaliate and then you know so they're avoiding doing that but remember the belarusians can um, or the russians can organize a little uh, false flag operation on in belarus and say it's, it was the Ukrainians, but it seems like they don't have the desire to escalate it in that area. Yet or ever. I don't see why they would want, because it's going to create a big problem. So they keep it uh, as it is. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.